guys. Most of you are probably familiar with using automotive scan tools. Some of you may be wondering how easy it is to use a scope on automotive applications. Here's Pete to have a quick chat to you about how easy it is to use the ATS scope. Hi guys, my name is Peter and um, I'm going to be taking you through the automotive test and information system that, um, that gets purchased with a lot of our scope kits. Now um, you, can, you can buy the software in two different versions. It can either come as a light version or it can come as a professional version. Now the professional version will have a whole lot of vehicle specific information that can be found under the brands button. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to step down into this brand section to see the level of information that's covered that's covered there. So, let's go. Oh wow, there's quite a few manufacturers there. Hey, look at that. There's even stuff on Tesla. You hardly ever see information on Teslas out in the out in any other systems. For now though, I'm going to jump down into Volvo and we're just going to have a look to see hey, what's what's covered. So previously I've been searching for a Volvo XC90. So in the search screen here we can we can select a model. So out of this drop down box here we can go through and we can grab whatever model we want. So let's say we want information on a V50. Then um, we can also select engine code. So we can search by engine code. We can search by system. So whether or not we want a wiring diagram for anti-lock brakes or something for exhaust gas after treatment, can data bus network information, climate control, transmission systems. It's it's all in there. So for now though, I'm going to go back into this XC90 and I'm going to click start search. Here we can see all of the Volvo XC90s that the software has um, has brought up out of its database. We can see the um, the engine capacity. We can see the engine number, the horsepower rating, the year range. We can even see what systems going to be covered. So ABS, CAN data bus, motor management systems, and we've got here the level of coverage and the ECU number. So I'm going to jump down and I'm going to grab this 2.5 litre turbo with the Motronic ME7 ECU. Double clicking this brings up the, the vehicle specific information. So we've got there wiring diagrams, diagnostic measurements, DTC information, scope accessories, timing of crankshaft and camshaft, and we can set up the scope to do some signal recording. I want to jump into the wiring diagrams first to show you how much information there is and how it all links together through the software. So let's go into wiring diagrams. Here we've got the, um, the ECU. We can see that this diagram is split across three pages. So there's diagram one, diagram two, and diagram three. There's also a location tab here, which if we click that location tab, it's going to load some photos of the actual vehicle with pointers indicating where that component can be found. Hey, we've all um, spent many hours looking for a diagnostic connector. So in this software, we can quite often we can say, hey, let's have a look to see if we can find out where that diagnostic connector is based off, um, based off the photos that are in the software. The numbers that we see here, so component 22, component 22 matches up with our key here, 22, diagnostic plug. Or if we want to grab the EMR sensor, component number 5 relates to component number 5, the EMR sensor. Now those component numbers, they are pulled back into the diagrams as well. So if we jump to diagram number 1, we can see component number 5. I can zoom in on that wiring diagram to get a better look at my pin numbers. So I've got A22. I've got here a plug of the ECU. So the ECU plug there with the pin numbers labeled. That makes diagnostics so easy. Now, let's say we want to, we, we want to measure this EMR sensor. I can then click on the key. So we're jumping into EMR sensor. And it loads up the this page here. This page here shows us how to connect. So we've got our scope channel 1 lead with the black lead going to battery negative and the red lead is probing pin 5 on that plug at the EMR sensor. Now 
you just simply don't get that level of information with um, any other tools that I've come across on the market. You'd usually you'd be probing around to say, hey, let's find the signal wire. This tells you straight away where to connect with a photo. It just doesn't get any easier than that. Now here, if I click to open the scope measurement, that's going to show us what the recording should look like. So let's open that up. Now we're loading the multi-channel oscilloscope software. You can see here this sample pattern shows the, uh, the voltage there with key on, shows what that airflow meter voltage should be when we're winding over and when we're starting at idle and then coming up to 2000 RPM, going up to 3000 RPM and then there's a couple of blips of the throttle going right up to 5000 RPM. All we need to do now is press S on our keyboard to start measuring and hook up, bring the car to those same RPM ranges and we're going to be able to see is this airflow meter contaminated for example just by comparing those two voltage measurements. How simple is that? Oh, thanks guys.